Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm really excited to walk through some of my favorite non-designer handbags. If you want to see my designer handbag collection, I will leave that video linked above and below so you can check that out. But honestly, there have been a few really key bags that I've been, especially recently, I've been wearing on repeat that I just think are such an incredible staple in my wardrobe and so I thought I would share them because yes I love a designer bag and I really think a, a designer bag can really elevate an outfit particularly if you're just wearing basics you know like this top from H&M but there definitely is a time and a place when a you might not feel comfortable wearing a designer bag I live in New York City there's definitely plenty of places where I get a little nervous wearing some of my more expensive handbags and also if you just don't want to worry about it and if you want something that's a little more simple even aesthetically for me personally I know Bottega has a lot of nice in the row have really great simple options but sometimes, you know, just not having that hardware, I mean, that's a theme that you'll really notice across most of these bags is that they're one color, they really don't have any noticeable hardware, so they're very easy for me to mix and match with different metals and different colors. And yeah, they're just like very, very practical handbags. So I thought I would share them with you all. You can actually still buy three of these. Unfortunately, one of them they don't make anymore, which I really don't understand why because it's a fantastic bag, but I will leave a few options that are similar to it linked below. Uh, some of them will be designer just because that's kind of the only ones that I've seen that are very similar, but if I can find a non-designer one that I will try to be sure to link that one. So let's jump right in. I'm actually going to start with the one that is discontinued uh, because this is actually my oldest and most loved non-designer handbag. And this is this little bucket bag from Italic. I believe it was called the Phoebe bucket bag. And instead of trying to show you guys everything on screen, I will leave everything uh, on the side so you can kind of see how it looks on my body. But uh, I will call out to you, all of these bags are real leather. I don't I kind of prefer real leather just because I think it wears very well. So this is a real leather handbag. I believe it was around $100 or $150. And the thing that I love most about this bag is the size for one. So it's just an incredible size bag. It's not a work bag by any means, like you couldn't fit a laptop in here, but when I have a lot of things that I need to bring out and about with me in New York, I mean, I could honestly, I could fit a pair of shoes, I could fit my camera, like there's so many things that I can throw into this bag. I can throw extra tote bags in here if I know I'm going to the grocery store or something. So this is definitely my largest non-designer handbag and I just think it's a really nice size where it's large without being like overwhelming to my body. And it's just extremely well made. It has really nice detailing and I like that it has an adjustable strap. So I really love it when brands do that. There is a tiny, tiny bit of gold hardware, but honestly, I, I barely notice that. But I do love that you can adjust the strap to be a little bit longer or a little bit shorter based on either like your outfit or honestly just your body type. If you like, if you think it looks better, you're a little more petite, maybe you want a shorter strap. I really love it when brands do that. It has a little snap closure and so that's really handy it's not just like an open sort of bucket bag that you know people can reach their hand into which is really important in new york as well so i definitely feel really secure when i'm wearing this bag another nice thing which to be honest i don't actually use that much but it did come with a little leather little pouch insert so if you wanted to like put coins or your wallet or something that you want to be able to easily access that comes with this and then you can clip it to the side. It's kind of nice because you could put this in other bags if you wanted to, but for me, the kind of beauty of a bucket bag is literally just throwing everything into it like a big bucket. So it's chaos in there, but I kind of just prefer it that way. I don't actually use the little insert, but yeah, this is a bag that I just love to throw on when, again, I know I'm going to be running a bunch of errands and I still want to look nice. I still want to have, you know, a pretty minimal, really nice looking bag, but it's not flashy. It's not overly expensive. I'm not like too worried about, you know, it getting stolen or anything like that. I also found that this leather, even though it is, I don't know if you can see that. 
don't know what kind of leather we would call this, but it's, it doesn't have any texture to it really. And that really hasn't seemed to have mattered. It hasn't really gotten scratched at all. So overall, I just find this to be a really hard wearing bag, but I won't go on too much about it just cause like you can't get it anymore. But italic, if you ever <laughs> bring that back, you know what I will say props to italic. I'm not sure cause I haven't really purchased another handbag from them, but Brands like Italic and Keens, they're really, really good for these really just like staple, basic bags that, that are high quality leather, but they don't have that designer price tag. So both good places to check out if you are looking for a handbag. They just have, they don't happen to have this particular one. So I will leave those linked below, but the next bag is something that I didn't really have in my wardrobe and I really needed something to fill this space. And that was a even more casual bag that I could wear walking around in the city, um, not in the city. So like going hiking, just having a bag that is smaller, really close to the chest and I could just access everything I need in it. So whether I'm taking my dog for a walk or just really anything, I just wanted like a very simple, durable, easy bag. And this one, I read an article about, I think it's like Gen Z's like favorite bag or something, but it's a little dupe of the Row banana bag. So the Row actually does make a nylon version. It's still like a thousand dollars, which I think is a little interesting for a nylon bag, but this one is from Uniqlo. It comes in so many different colors. I mean, that's the cool thing about it is you can get it in so many different colors. I got it in black because that was just kind of what I wanted, what I needed. I love how you wear this bag really close to you on the chest. This is definitely the most secure bag. I would feel so comfortable wearing this in a very crowded area like Times Square or something like that. And I like this sort of like athletic-esque fabric to it. Again, I don't have a casual bag like this at all in my wardrobe. So this is just a really great one to wear again on top of active wear or when I know that it might be raining that day or something where I just don't want my leather to get damaged in any way, shape or form. Again, there are little pockets inside. There's like two big pockets and then the rest is just sort of like open. I don't use the pockets because I don't use the pockets in any of my bags, but it does actually, it fits a lot. It fits everything I need. It fits, you know, keys, sunglasses, wallet, phone, just all the basics. And so really like, I could not recommend this bag enough. It's $20 or something like that. And which I think is an absolute steal. Maybe I'll think about getting it in another color. This has made me flirt a little bit with the idea of getting the row actual leather banana bag. But again, the nice thing I like about this is that athletic casual nylon material and the fact that like this is so good for a bike ride or a hike or just like all of these things where you're being active and you just don't want to think about you know your back basically and i love that it's really close to you so you can really get to it it's another it's a great airport bag as well i love having it close to my chest so that i can just grab out my phone or my passport or anything like that so yeah it's definitely a really great utilitarian bag and I think it looks cool too. It's still that like fashionable messenger style that's been around for a couple years now. So it still looks chic, but very practical at the same time. The next two bags are my newest sort of non-designer handbags. And these were bags that Lydia Tomlinson turned me on to. I really love her stuff. I would check out her channel if you like mine. I think you'd like hers too. I will leave a link below, but these were bags that she always kind of incorporated. Well, that's what, one of the bags she always incorporated into her kind of style. And then when I checked out the website, I saw this other bag that they had and it was sort of like checking all the boxes for me. So I will jump into this one first, which is this clutch from Flattered. I had never heard of Flattered. They are a brand from Stockholm, I believe. So very just like high quality, minimal pieces. They are real leather and this is made in Italy. So they definitely, definitely are high quality. You can definitely feel the quality. You can smell the leather. It smells so good. Has a really nice high quality clasp so you can snap it shut. And then I love that you can roll it. So if you wanna make it more casual, like a paper bag, 
you know, like that, and then just tuck it under your shoulder. Or if you want to look a little more sophisticated and like hold it like a larger clutch. I just found, to be honest, my, my most worn sort of nightwear clutch is this one that I have from Jimmy Choo, which is also like a plain leather, just more minimal. I'm not, again, if, if you're, if you know my channel, I'm just not really an over the top kind of person in general when it comes to my dressing. So I wanted to have a really beautiful, just like slouchy, casual clutch that I could wear during the day or the night when I wanted that like casual, cool look, but I wanted to elevate it a little bit. So this clutch has just been amazing. I wore, I've worn it so much already. I mean, this is definitely, this was such a good buy. It also comes in like a tan, like a suede color, which now I'm like kind of thinking about just because I wear this one so much. It's not inexpensive. Obviously it's real leather. So I believe it was around $300, but I mean, for a really beautiful clutch that can hold so much. This definitely holds a ton of stuff. Granted, it doesn't have a strap, so you will be having to, you know, tuck it under your shoulder, just hold on to it. But the thing that I loved about this clutch is that I always really loved the Bottega pouch bag when it came out. The little like problem with some of the Bottega bags is they just became so popular that I just feel like now when you see them, they kind of become dated quite quickly. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still love a Bottega bag. I have a Bottega bag, but there was just something to me where this clutch was similar, but A, not like it was trying to be that. This one's definitely larger. It's more casual because you don't have the ruching. It doesn't go in. It's more of like a little paper bag clutch, which I just, I just loved. So I thought the design was unique enough but still a little inspired by that like casual leather pouch bag that you just tuck under your shoulder. And so that's why I really liked this option. Like sometimes going designer isn't in your favor because again, it, it, if it's too popular of a designer bag, I feel like it can just date quickly. And that's fine. Like if you don't care, then like by all means, but like, I mean, I think we all care a little bit sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's a bad thing and we shouldn't, but I definitely just think sometimes you just, you know, if you're wanting to look really fashion forward and look modern, sometimes it's nice to not have things that can really be like placed at a specific point in time when something went particularly viral. Anyway, I'm going to stop going on about that, but this clutch has been absolutely fantastic. Again, great for daytime. If you just want to make an outfit look a little cooler, I feel like a clutch is very like nonchalant, like I'm just throw it on my shoulder or whatever. Or if you want to like make a nighttime look, not look so dressy by having a really sort of prim and proper clutch, but just having a more casual one. And then the final bag is also from Flattered. And it's this little cutie. This is the tiniest version of this. And I absolutely cannot remember the name of the bag right now, of course, but I will definitely leave a link below. They, they have this in a few different versions. I'm sure they're all fantastic, but I have one been wanting like a mini bag. I still really want the mini Dior bag or the micro Dior bag, lady Dior bag, but I loved how small this was. So first of all, I was really wanting a, I don't, I still don't have like a silver and black hardware bag other than my Celine uh, luggage tote, but that's quite large and quite heavy. I tend to just grab for smaller bags on a regular day, regular day on a regular basis, like every day. And so I really wanted a bag that didn't have any hardware that I could wear with more of my silver items, but of course also my gold items. And this one really checked all the boxes for me because again, if you watch my designer handbag video, the bags that I tend to wear the most are, they have a top handle, but they also have a crossbody strap. And I really like that versatility. I do tend to prefer if you can detach the crossbody strap, but again, to not have hardware. I think that's kind of like impossible to do with this one. Yeah, it's like totally sewn in. And at first I looked at it and I was like, do I not, do I, I don't know how I feel about like tucking it in, but I actually think it's kind of like part of the look of the bag and it doesn't really bother me at all. So this bag I think is the absolute perfect size. It fits my phone. I have the largest iPhone and it completely fits my phone in it, which is great because my little Bottega point bag does not fit my phone and that's super annoying. So it fits my phone, it fits my wallet, it fits just pretty much everything I would ever want in there. What do I have in here? Oh, my glasses. There are my glasses. <laughs> there we go. And so it really fits everything. It has a little 
clip closure so that it can be more secure if you'd like. That also makes it a little bit more of a sleek silhouette. I love wearing this bag with just the top handle. I think it makes it look super chic, any outfit, just kind of adding this as a little, you've probably seen it sprinkled in through a few of my videos I've been grabbing for this, just because I think it's quite cute and quite trendy. And again, I feel really comfortable wearing this out and about in the city because what I will do is when I'm on the subway and stuff or in more crowded areas, I will actually take out the crossbody strap and I will wear it as a crossbody so that's very secure and safe on my body. And then when I get to the little event or anything that I'm going, I will tuck it back in so that it's just kind of this little trendy little side piece. But I'm absolutely obsessed with this bag. I've been wearing it so, so much. And again, I love that there's no hardware on it. It just makes it really minimal and sleek when you don't necessarily want the bag to do the talking. You want it to just sort of elevate the outfit that you have on and just let the clothes shine. And I just think this is such a nice, very high quality bag. Again, very same price point as the flattered clutch. I believe it was around $300, but it's extremely well made. And yeah, I'm very, very impressed with the flattered brand. I think I would for a look into they have like ballet flats and really beautiful leather shoes and things as well so they definitely do make a wider spectrum other than just handbags but i hope this helped honestly these are like my ride or die bags that i wear the most often so if you are looking for a new handbag i think these are all really really good options for all very different reasons so kind of depending on your needs uh, one of these might be better suited to you, but I cannot recommend them enough in terms of practicality and quality and just aesthetic as well. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next video.